How efficient is a midnight solar charge controller? We're going to find out. Right now, I've got Make Sky Blue shut off. I got this shut off. So we're only making power with this one that's hooked to 12 panels facing south. What you do is you take your input current, which is about 22 amps. It's floating around a little bit, but 22, 21, 22. And you divide that into your output current. Uh, we got a little clouds coming around so it's varying quite a bit at the moment but you get the idea you measure both in and out and I did that earlier when I had steady sun more steady sun and the results were 31 and a half amps coming in at 118 volts and 71 and a half amps going into the batteries coming out of the charge controllers and at that time my batteries were sitting at 49.7 volts so uh, we had a we had 3700 watts going into the charge controller and 35 33 coming out for a incredible efficiency of 95 percent that is just I mean that is just outstanding to to think about what that thing is doing it is you know with its electronics it is taking that power curve of the panels and putting it right at its theoretical optimal spot for the greatest amount of harvesting the whole purpose of multi-point power tracking as the, at least the way I understand it. Uh, so it is doing all that and using less than 200 watts. That is, uh, it just blows me away that it can do what it's doing and, and only use that little bit of power. Um, then I measured the Make Sky Blue, which I'm going to turn on here. And we will, take a, we will take a reading on that in a minute once it's had a chance to think. Um, it just pours its heart out because it doesn't have the ability to lower it, to, to shut itself down for m the voltage of my lithium ion pack. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna pour its heart out. But we can still work, we can still look at it and take some readings. Um, it's, right now, she's settling in, she's pulling her voltage down. It's somehow this thing always seems to be it's it chooses a it chooses a voltage about 20 volts lower input voltage about 20 volts lower than the midnight classic which is interesting because you would think that that knee the knee on the voltage curve would be more critical but uh, apparently not and the results Okay, we're taking, uh, we're, we're, we're bringing in seven and a half amps at 96, 97 volts, and we're putting around 14, almost 15 amps into the batteries. You know, when you do the math, you'll see that comes out to about 750 watts as shown on the display. But, uh, Earlier, I, I, I measured it, and it was putting out a little less than that earlier. But uh, just, just to give you an idea of the efficiency of this, when I measured it earlier, it was bringing in 7 amps, and, uh, or 645 watts, and uh, it was putting 631 of that into the batteries for an incredible efficiency of 97%, 90, almost 98%. That is just outstanding. And you could do the math yourself with the numbers I just showed you, and you will come up with, uh, I assume, around the same number. So 
this little guy is is really is really something for is what what it does for as inexpensive as it is, and like I've mentioned to a few people, uh, it, it doesn't throw off really any heat, and the reason is because it's so efficient. So anyway, uh, I uh, I just wanted to make this video. It's something that a friend of mine brought up to me, a um, good friend that lives in Texas, um, asked me this question, and I didn't have an answer. I didn't know how much power these use, and now we know. And I hope you all have a great 2018. Thanks for watching.